There's no internet. Castaway caboose so that you know when you come what to expect. Out back is a grill, gas grill. As you walk inside the door to your left is a shower. It's a pretty decent sized shower. And they do have uh, two small bars of soap, but my suggestion is uh, bring a bar of soap with you. To your right is a bathroom, and inside you have a light, a tiny sink, a couple more bars of soap, and a toilet. And the toilet, you just press and it flushes. Walk a little further, there's a lot of storage areas that are full of things. There's a card table and a folding chair. And the next, you have six folding chairs. You have um, some grilling tools and tools for roasting marshmallows. There is one storage area that works nice for dry foods. And then you have a refrigerator. There's a very tiny freezer, so don't expect to be able to freeze much, but it's a pretty decent sized little refrigerator. And then your next cabinet, they have um, coffee, some wraps, newspaper, they have a first aid kit, and some bowls and measuring cups. And then your last storage area, um, they do provide you with plenty of towels, towels, washcloths, hand towels, extra paper towels, so you don't need to bring any paper towels or toilet paper. Above you, on both sides is areas where during the day you can sit and during the night these both convert into single beds. There's pieces of wood that goes across with um, mattress. It kind of feels like um, a hospital bed like in the emergency room. Um, it is vinyl. They do provide enough sheets and blankets that will fit for both of those beds. You will notice outlets however there is no electricity. Um, you can't plug in hair dryers or curling irons or you'll suck your battery dry. Um, they do have other lights. They're all LED lights. They do light up the place, but my recommendation is bringing a couple camping lanterns with you. Um, you have a small sink. Under the sink are three pots and pans. You also have um, a percolator if you want to percolate coffee or they have instant coffee. They do provide you with some flour, sugar, instant creamers, coffee cups. You also have a nice selection of dishes um, and cups in the back. My recommendation, though, is to use paper plates, and they do provide paper plates in there. And they do provide paper towels. You have a small stove, three burner, and an oven, and it's gas run. You have a small kitchenette, and above that you'll notice they have a flat screen TV with a DVD 
player that slips in here. Um, they do provide you also with some DVD movies. Coming out further, you'll notice on the right is a futon, and on the left is a long bench. The long bench is what you use to sleep two people. Two adults can fit, more preferably a child and an adult, and the sheets just fit right on the mats. They do provide you with plenty of pillows and blankets and sheets for everything, but my recommendation is to bring your own pillows because the pillows aren't that great. The futon pulls out and can sleep two more people, so this caboose fits a total of six people sleeping. You have a chair at the end, and then you come out. This is where you come out to a really nice deck. Now this is the last stop. There's three cabooses um, just a little bit up the way. Walking distance, there's two cabooses. They're the ones that are the closest, and then this is the furthest out. You walk out onto a deck with two picnic benches. You have a um, fire pit, and you can walk down to the stream. And that is everything you need to know about water, Castaway water Caboose. They do have a solar panel up on the top for electricity, but if you get cloudy days, you may not get uh, recharged. And there is a limited supply of water, so you got to kind of conserve your water. Six people here, we took quick showers every night, and we still had enough water. We did have sunny days, so we didn't really run out of electricity. Um, but you really need to conserve a little bit on that. And they also do provide you with wood for a fire pit. So if you come, we hope you enjoy your stay. We had a really awesome time. I do recommend going at least two nights. One night just wouldn't seem to be enough once you get here and adjusted, but two nights was perfect.